Um, how do you like my intro? <laughs> um, I hope you guys like it. It's a little, you know, cheesy or whatever, but uh, YouTube is strict with their music uh, rules. So I had to go for a copyright free song, but I'm not working right now. Um, I had a seasonal job and they let me go like three weeks ago. So uh, I've been looking for jobs and no one's calling me back. <laughs> and I'm taking the semester off from school to kind of rebuild. And uh, I'm applying to a way cheaper school so that I don't have to worry about, you know, owing my first child to the government <laughs> after I graduate. Um, so I have a little bit of time on my hands right now. And I thought I'd put some more effort into my videos. Um, I hope it's not too long. I hate when you watch videos and the intros are way too long, but at the same time, I also really hate when you're watching someone's weight loss videos and you're too distracted because you want to know what they used to look like or you want to know what they look like now. So I figured it would be helpful to have an intro for anyone who watched. Um, but anyways, so yeah, if you guys want to leave comments about it, let me know what you thought of it. Um, other than that, I wanted to sort of talk about starting over. Uh, I named this video, you know, starting from scratch because I feel like that's the mindset that I need to be in right now. It's, I feel like pre-op and post-op are obviously two different worlds, but I also feel like the first year post-op is completely different than the rest of your years post-op because your first year, you're just losing weight like crazy. I mean, you're, you're losing the majority of the weight that you're going to lose in the first year. And to, to think of your weight loss, you know, two, three, five, ten 10 years post-op the same way that you did your first year is just not fair. It's not fair to you. And it's not fair to your body because uh, eventually your body's going to normalize. Um, and you're, you're not going to be losing weight like that every week. You're not going to be losing 12 pounds a week, <laughs> you know, four years post-op. So, um, with this whole issue of weight gain, um, or regain after surgery, um, it's kind of, to me, it's sort of a touchy subject because I, I don't want to offend anyone, but I also, I don't, it frustrates me a lot to see people taking this negative approach to it. Like they did something wrong. That's something, you know, that they're a failure, that, that something's very wrong because it's not, you know, when you're two, three years post-op and you're gaining a little bit of weight, I mean, I'm sorry to say this, but it's normal, you know, it's not maybe normal to gain a hundred pounds, but you're not a horrible person if you do. And, you know, I, it really makes me sad and, and a little bit frustrated with people that, that they feel like a failure because you know what, you can't judge your progress. Like you did that first year that you were post-op, you're not going to be able to do that. And you're human and you're going to start eating more normally. You know, you're not going to be eating this big of a portion when you're two years post-op, you can eat, you know, a little bit bigger portions now. And, um, you know, your lives get back to normal and everything kind of settles down after the, the sort of hecticness of your first year, year and a half post-op. And it's a fact of life. You're probably going to gain a little bit of weight at some point when you're post-op, you know, fingers crossed that you don't. And I, I, you know, I pray for, for the fact that you don't gain weight because it's not, you know, ideal, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. And I feel like as long as you approach it in a healthy way and as long as you kind of fix it and you, you realize and you, you're self-aware of what's going on, then it's okay, you know? Um, alcohol is a huge factor. I'm hearing tons of post-op people say, oh man, I gained, you know, I have a beer belly or, you know, all this stuff. And it's, you know, that's a huge factor too, you know, for me even. I'm, I'm not even going to lie, you know, I probably gained about 15 pounds from alcohol. Um, I didn't drink at all when I was 21. I turned 21 I think I posted a video of my 21st birthday. I drank one night with my best friends on 6th Street. And that whole year, I didn't really drink at all. And I'm 22 now, and I didn't even drink at all until, I don't know, summer, like last summer. I started um, hanging out with all my old friends, and we would go to happy hours and clubs and bars and stuff. And out of nowhere, I just started slowly gaining weight and never really thinking about it. And then, you know, now that I'm 22 pounds heavier or whatever, 25 pounds heavier. Um, I think a big chunk of that came from all the empty calories from beer and alcohol. Um, luckily now I'm not, you know, I drink maybe once every few weeks with friends, but, um, 
something you really got to watch out for. And I've been hearing several people talk about it. So, and you also always want to be careful about transfer addiction. Um, you hear so many weight post-op weight loss people, uh, fall into alcoholism and stuff because they transfer their addiction. So, um, yeah, that's just something to watch out for. Other than that, um, I guess I'll just leave you with the statistics. So my official start weight for my, uh, or I guess I should say my restart weight for this is 186. And you should discount the other weight I told you last time because I was on my period. <laughs> um, I'm a size about mm, like 12, 14, but we'll go with 14. And I want to lose 30 pounds in three months. So 10 pounds a month, which is about one to two pounds a week. Uh, for three months. And if that ends up being too unrealistic, I'll switch it to 30 pounds in four months. So yeah, I think I'm on the right track. I, I joined the gym and I'm going to go tonight with my mom and been walking my dog and we've been eating at home a lot. Um, and I think everything is looking good. So I will update you guys once a week with my weigh-ins and maybe make some other videos too. And I'll, uh, I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'll talk to you soon.